Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the last framing technique that is a physical layer coding violations. In the previous videos, we discussed about some of the framing techniques like character count, bit stuffing and byte stuffing. Now let's have a look on the physical layer coding violation. So what exactly the physical coding uh, layer coding violation? Actually, the encoding violation, first let me write, later I'll explain. Encoding violation is method that is used only for network in which encoding on physical medium, encoding on physical medium includes some sort of redundancy, includes some sort of redundancy. So this you call it as a physical layer coding violation. So here the encoding violation which is a method that is used only for networks, only for the networks in which encoding on physical medium includes some sort of redundancy is there. So let me take a LANs encoding. Suppose let's consider a local area networks encode. So what did it do? What it is exactly it is doing? So in the local areas uh, LANs encode, each bit of data is represented by two physical bits. Here, each bit of data is represented represented by two physical bits. Instead of one physical bit, it is trying to represent into two physical bits. So let me take an example for this. Actually, our main motto is what? We are trying to send the frames from sender to the receiver. So dif to differentiate the frames, we need we try to add the uh, some sort of uh, starting and ending of the some uh, to the we have to add some bit patterns to the sta starting and ending. So to differentiate that uh, starting and ending frames, our original data need to be added with some information like bit stuffing, byte stuffing or you are doing the, some character count so that the receiver can understand our original, exact the original data. So this physical layer coding violation is also here we are using a LANs encode. Each, here in the LANs encode, each bit of data is represented in two physical bits instead of one physical bits. So let me take an example for this for the LAN encoding. Uh, a Manchester's encoding. I think you guys know that the Manchester's encoding. Manchester's encoding. What here we are doing? Suppose if the bit is 1, whenever the bit is 1, which is indicates say this 1 is represented as this one is represented in Manchester encoding. Whenever the one is there, the one is represented as one zero. Because what I said, the LANs encode here, each bit, bit of data is represented by two physical bits. In the same way, the whenever the one bit is there, you have to represent it as a one zero. That means high, one is high and another is the zero is the low. Suppose if 0 is encoded, encoded, if you want to try to encode the 0, 0 is encoded into 0, 1. That is low to high. So remember student, whenever the, the original data consisting of 1, in place of 1, try to add 1, 0. In place of 0, try to add 0, 1 to transmit the data from sender to the receiver. That is the original data. Then what is the starting and ending frames can be differentiated? Starting and ending. So, to that, whenever the a combination of low, low, that means 0, 0 is encountered. Whenever the combination of high, high, that is Z, 1, 1 is encountered, 0, 0 and 1, 1, which are not used for data. So remember these type of uh, information will not used for data. Not used for data. Means we are not supposed to add 0, 0 and we are because we are trying to whenever 1 is there, 1, 0 is adding. Whenever 0 is there, 0, 1 is you need to be added. So whenever the 0, 0 and 1, 1 is there, you are not supposed to use this for data. Maybe you can use it for marking frame boundaries. So you can make use for 
frame boundaries. That is what I am saying. You can add whenever the 0, 0, 1, 1 is there, you can try to use it for frame boundaries. That is, in order to operate a division between the frames, in order to operate a division, let me write that point. It will be reference for you. In order to operate a division, a division between frames in data link layer, so, for each frames, if you want to operate a division between the frames in data link layer, this, this approach, this approach exploits the redundancy, exploits the redundancy. So, error codes like, error codes, that is 0, 0 and 1, 1, can be used as can be used as escapes to separate between data link frames you can use it as a escapes between to separate data link frames each frame if you want to separate you can use 0 0 and 1 1 to separate between the frames so thus violating physical layer included physical layer encoding. So, I hope you understand what exactly the physical layer encoding, uh, coding, that is a code, coding violation, physical layer coding violation is. So, try to apply the Manchester's encoding technique to differentiate the frames of, uh, from star, uh, each frame. Uh, we are trying to use this method. Thank you.